creating section headers and page breaks um, go hand in hand when you are creating a Google form. The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is create a section header. And what a section header is going to allow you to do is to group like questions together um, with basically a title so that people understand you know, maybe what they're answering about or um, kind of gives them a, a sense of where they are. And to create a section header, just go down here to your arrow and select section header. And I'm going to call this section and done. And then any question that I put underneath that will be under that main section. I'm going to go ahead and add a multiple choice question. And from here, I'm going to show you where you can go to branch off to do a multi-part question. And I'm going to go through it and explain it as I do it. So my first question is going to be, are you a boy or a girl? And I'm going to have to come back to this question once I um, get my other pages built out, but I'm going to show you how that works. So my first option is going to be boy. And my section, second option is going to be girl. Alright, now here's what I want to do. As you can see, this is a multiple choice question, but I want boys to get one set of questions and girls to get another set of questions. So I want the boys to go to a page based on their answer. I'm going to select this box and then I'm going to be able to pick what page I want them to go to. Before I do that, I have to create the pages. So this is a multi-step process. So I'm going to make this question and hit make it required and hit done. Then I'm going to come down here and build another page where boys are going to be directed. So I'm going to select page break. I'm going to title my page boys because they need to have different questions than girls. And you'll see that it says page two of two. So that means I'm working on my second page. I'm going to add just a plain multiple multiple choice question and I'm going to say which sport do you like best and I'm going to give three typically boy sport answers now I know that boys can like girl sports and girls can like boy sports but I'm just proving a point here I'm not trying to be politically correct um, I'm going to make a required question and I'm going to select done so now I could continue to ask boy questions or I could build out my girls page and that's what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to come back down here again to add item, page break, this is going to be my girls page. Okay, select done. Now I'm going to add my girl question, just a plain multiple choice question. and I'm going to give them typical girl answers. Make a required question and hit done. Okay, so now that you see my girls page is page three, my boy page is page two, and back up here I'm on page one. So I have to come to my main question that's going to decide which page a person will go to. So when I come in here to edit, Next to boys, I don't want them to continue to the next page. I want them to go to the boy page. I want girls to go to the girl page. And then I'm going to select done. Now you could go through theoretically and make as many pages as you wanted. So I could come in here to my boys multiple choice question and I could edit this to go to a page based on an answer. So I could have all the football answers go to a page wrestling answers go to a page, baseball answers go to a page. The same thing for girls. I could have all the cheerleading go to a page, all softball go to a page, and all volleyball go to a page. So you could keep building it out for whatever would suit your needs. This is going to be fine for what we need. However, there's one more, um, one more aspect that I need to show you. Under the boy questions, after each page, it asks you what you want to do. So after page one, what do you want to do? You can continue to the next page or jump to another page or submit the form. For page one, we're okay because this question requires a jump to a different page. 
But for the boy page, when you come down here after page two, what do you want to do? As it's set right now, if we didn't change this, the boys would go to the girls page. So rather than continue to the next page, you need to select submit form. So when the boys are done answering their questions, they don't go to the girl page, they will go to the confirmation page. The girls is the last page on the form, so it will automatically have the submit form button. And let me show you what this looks like. So we're going to come up here to the top and view our live form. I'm going to go through and just answer the questions real fast. I'm going to skip the ones that don't require anything. And then we get down here to our main section. Are you a boy or a girl? I'm going to select girl and continue. Then it'll say which sport do I like best and then I select cheerleading and submit. I'm going to submit another response so you can see what it looks like from the boys section. So if I select I'm a boy, continue. Which sport do you like best? Football. And there's my submit button because I have told the form to end here rather than going on to the next page. Now, you're going to probably need to go in and play with this just a bit because creating the pages can be a little bit confusing. What you need to do is keep it simple. Make one question maybe that links off to two or at the most three pages and you don't need to make them extremely long. All you have to do is show me that you understand how to create a question that branches off to a different page based on the answer. If you have questions with this because it is a little bit confusing, um, please feel free to email me if you need help. And please remember also for your assignment that you also have to have at least one section header in addition to your page breaks.